Jerry's in the background. We ready? From the used? We ready? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess a lost dream come true. I, that sounds like really stupid. And, and you know, growing up, you're you're a teen and you're playing in bands and stuff like that. And you think, oh, we're going to make it. We're going to do some stuff. And like the dream is to get on a label and, and put a record out and stuff. And it was, it was like super cool to be able to just follow our passions as a band and put songs together, like songs we wanted to, to write and songs we wanted to make in a style we wanted to do and have it, have someone be into it. You know, we're just here to play music, put a smile on your face, but you know, go heavy at the same time. <laughs> to have a band that not only is an explosive and absolutely insane live show, but also on the flip side of that is one of the most positive groups of people I've ever been around. I mean, there's always a group with them. There's always smiles. There's always, you know, really good vibes. And then when it's work time, it's like, all right, let's turn it on. Um, but I think that's, it's inspiring, especially for where we're at in, in history, you know, to see uh, an entire group of people that are so positive and, and trying to build people up and still able to clearly see um, you know, what's wrong in, in their own lives and, and make a piece of art like Funeral Psalms. It's super inspiring. Yeah, it just feels, feels right, you know? I'm excited for people to pick up the album and, and hopefully hear something new and hopefully it grabs them and hopefully they respond to the music and the lyrics and, and it impacts them some way. I've given Brent something that I think is just cool and fun and he hears it with the, the only vision that Brent can view things with and morphs it into that and that becomes this totally different thing which kind of defines like the undertaking vibe that's the the sound i think these guys adapted really well to that where it was just kind of throwing ideas at the wall in the moment and was and i'm really quick i kind of don't give people a lot of time to recoup and think so it was like try it this way and hit record and go and and they killed it. I mean, they showed up. Everyone was super prepared. Everyone was really open-minded. Um, and and the record turned out a lot cooler than I think we even set out for it to be, you know. And Austin's vocals are incredible on the record. And, and he went to places that I'm not sure that he knew he could go or wanted to go or whatever. But uh, his vocals really brought all the songs to life in such a cool way but I'm excited for the world to hear that part. Being so at home here has made this like, oh yeah, all right, we're here, we're doing it, it's familiar, and it, it's fun, again, because it's familiar, so it's something that I've looked forward to. Being here for a whole month straight was, was an experience, and we were working hard, and on top of recording everything, we were writing and trying to kind of foresee where the album would take us. It was really cool to have all of us in the room talking about guitar parts, about structure, um, about harmonies, about if it's gonna be a sing or a yell, or if we're gonna do a palm mute or a open ring out or whatever it is. We would start with kind of like the template demo that they came and that they wrote. And, you know, by the end of the first day working on a particular song, it would be so twisted that we were, you know, it was a different song, but it, the essence that they brought was already kind of what we were gonna end with. We wouldn't do like all the drums at once. We didn't do all the guitars at once. We didn't do all the vocals at once. It was kind of like, let's focus on this one track and give it the light of day and try to get the coolest version of this one song in the moment. And when we're done with that, we'll move on to another song. And then sometimes we would bounce back once we got deeper in the process. But it just kept everyone firing off on all cylinders the whole time. It was cool because we were bouncing ideas off each other in the room. Everyone was super involved. Um, and I think it turned out that way. I think the, the record sounds really genuine because that's, you know, there was no one faking what the sound is. Like their sound is what the five of those dudes sound like together in a room.